Hey Pisces, this is Jackie Tom and this is your general reading. This is for the week of February 27, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget these are general readings. Take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. And um, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's Jackie Tom and that's all. All right, Pisces, three signs that may or may not resonate for you. We have Taurus, Libra, and a Sagittarius. Okay. Pisces, there's something here that says you're going to have to date for your patience, but you need to understand and know the help that you need is on the way. It's going to come rushing in. Uh, there's also the signing of a legal document, large lease into a purchase. It is time to celebrate. You are definitely getting what you want. Let me say this. It may not come in the form that you're expecting because it does show me here that what first appears as a disappointment comes as a blessing in disguise. So this is going to be a big event week for my Pisces. And you're also putting your foot down of calling somebody's bluff they were using and are taking advantage of. <sighs> Lot to say there for Pisces. Hello, Dutch, Dana, Maya, and Harry, and Jean. Alrighty, let's see what we have going on. Thank y'all guys for hanging out with me. I mean, we didn't, I didn't get started till like well after three on this. So the fact we got them done, we got them done. I'm looking at some. All right, Pisces, we're starting with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands says you are overcoming your obstacles. You're overcoming, you have got them up, pushed them to the side. New path, better path, and you're creating the right path. Thank you, Dana. You're overcoming your burdens and your stress and your worries. We do have the devil card here coming in with some intensity on the love life. Let me throw that out there. And we have judgment. First thing I want to throw out here, you need to quit worrying about what other people think of you. Okay? And that's right. Last but not least, we saved the best for last. Y'all just remember that. Um, this also indicates do not pass judgment on someone too quickly. You'll be wrong if you do. Hi, Juliet. So, we also have the King of Swords here. You could be dealing with someone in authority. I think I mentioned a Libra when I rattled off signs earlier. This is also a Libra energy. You could also be dealing with someone in a uniform. Center of the reading, we have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you are a little bewildered on what to do with the money, what to do with your money right now, what to do, okay? This shows me you're working and gaining to grow your enterprise. This could be investments. This could be savings. Um, this could be you looking at some starting some kind of side hustle. But it's the taking what you have and making it grow and making it expand. And we have temperance. Again, Sagittarius energy is here. This is telling you, you know, you recognize and embrace that when you do the same thing, you get the same results. So you're changing things up. And it's going to be you. It's going to have to be you that changes things up. For whatever reason, there is a lizard here. I don't know if y'all do reptiles or whatever, but yeah, just so. We have the Queen of Cups here asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio energy. You, you've worked yourself into the safety zone where you're scared to open up and express and you're scared to let those in. And it's telling you now is the time to do just that. And we have the Knight of Swords. So it's going to be quick moving, fast paced, something rushing in. What is rushing in? It's the Knight of Pentacles. New money. New money rushing in in spirit. <laughs> Here it says spirit. The spirit is rushing in. So let's go a little bit further with these messages. Well, hello, incognito, and welcome. All right, let's see what we got going on here for the Pisces.
We have the Nine of Swords, loss of sleep. Loss of sleep, sleep disruption. I think it's because of the energy that you're in, okay? It's not a bad energy. It's a very excited energy from what I can tell. Very anxious. We have the Knight of Pentacles again. We've got this business deal that is rushing in here. Knight of Pentacles is kind of played twice in this ring. So definitely something good rushing in in regards to the finances. We also have the Two of Cups. I really want to throw out the word unexpected. Date night, union, gathering of two people. And following that comes my favorite of the chariot. Yes, unexpected, rushing in. When you least expect it, getting everything you want and desire. We're going to extend this by CC. Okay, and we got the Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Total happiness, total contentment. Love arrows flying around. We have on the Temperance card, decisions, decisions to make that you've been putting off. I swear, did I mention that in the beginning of the reading? I'm, so, I'm pretty sure I did. Remember when I said that the help that you need is going to arrive? That help is going to help you make this decision. These decisions you're putting off. Okay? And then we have the Queen of Cups. Coming in with the Eight of Cups. Closing off from someone or something. Walking away from someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you. Knight of Swords was rushing into you as the Hermit. Wonderful. Yes, you may feel the jiggity. You may feel scattered. You may feel all sorts of out of sorts. Okay. But bottom line, it says to trust that lantern and where you're being led. Because this does show that you're on a new path, the right path. The right path. Okay, and on that Knight of Pentacles, we have the Fool. Love it. Happy go lucky. Um, traveling light, the Fool card energy. You know, this is the one that says, you know, you're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. We will find out what on the extended. Let's give you a bonus card. Seven of Wands, the Zen card, the Neat card, you're working on yourself. Your meditation, your Tai Chi, your, your yoga, you're doing something, you're working on yourself. The bottom line is the work you're doing on yourself is beginning to pay off. Okay, so yeah, it's time to celebrate. You've got a lot of good stuff going on here. A lot of good stuff. Uh, we are going to the extended with this one. If we depart here, that is not a problem. JackieTomlin.com, if you're seeking a personal reading, if you care to join us on the extended, you will find the link in the description box below or visit YouTube's home channel for the join button. If you are joining more than Pisces extended, you get all of the extended for the one month of year. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, the rest of you, you know, I'll see you tomorrow. By the way, bonus read tomorrow is on Sag. Sagittarius got the bonus reading for tomorrow. And uh, right now we're heading over to do the Pisces Extended. So I'll see you guys, some of y'all tomorrow. I'll see some of you over there. Bye.